Hi, my name is Cynthia. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a wired leaf and attach it to a flower. To make the leaf, you need comb paste color in green, a cornstarch pouch, floral tape, an upside down cup to store your leftover gum paste while you're working, leaf cutters, silicone rolling pin, cell pen or ball tool, an acrylic to store your gum paste leaves while you're working, a foam, an impression mat for leaves, scissors, brushes, color dust in green, a pastry cutter, 24 gauge wire, gum paste or Tylos glue, and you also are going to need a tray covered with wrinkled paper towels. To make the leaves, you need to roll out the gum paste less than a sixteenth of an inch thick, and then you add some cornstarch on the surface and then you place it on top. We are going to cut many leaves. I am going to transfer each leaf on top of the impression mat. I make sure that it's aligned with the line. Then with the foam, I am going to press all the way around to make sure that I have all the lines impressed on the leaf. Once I finish, I am going to transfer this on top of the foam with a ball tool or a cell pen I am going to ruffle slightly the edge of the leaf to add a wire I'm just going to flip it over and I am going to add like about three quarters of the way gum paste glue or Tylos glue and then place the wire on the back then I am going to add a strip of gum paste to cover the wire add a little bit of gum glue at the very end and then I'm going to pinch it After that, I am going to flip it over and I am going to transfer off top of a tray that is covered with wrinkled paper towels. So it falls down naturally. You, at this point, you could guide it because this wire is really thin. It allows you to, to bend it a little bit. Using the back of the impression mat, this is a different way that you could roll out your comb paste. So you need about a little bit less than a fourth of the height of your petal and you're going to make a log. Place the log a third of the height on top of the line and the rest on the bottom and you press. Pushing with the rolling pin you're going to make sure that it goes inside the notch. Then you're going to roll it side to side up and down until you get it about a sixteen of an inch thick. Once it's thin enough we are going to transfer it and then we are going to cut it. I want the line to be two-thirds of the height of the leaf. Remo remove the excess then we are going to transfer on top of the impression mat making sure that the line is in the middle we are going to press with the foam all the way around without touching the line once we have the impression made we'll transfer on top of the foam and we are going to ruffle the petals slightly by pressing on top of the foam and getting the edge of the gum paste. Then I am going to dip the wire into the gum glue and then you're going to pass it up and down to make sure that you have glue all the way on the side. 
then place the wire firmly right next to the to the line and then we are going to cover the wire with that line once the line is covered we are going to add some gum glue at the end and we are going to pinch it then we are going to flip it over and then I transfer on top of the paper towel and then you just find a way to make it look natural To finish the leaves, I am going to add color dust to add accent to it and it kind of brings it to life. Once the leaf is finished, I am going to cover it with floral tape. I cut it in a diagonal and then I pull to make sure that I activated the glue. And then I am going to start covering the wire at the beginning. Then once it's covered, I'm going to slide it up. I am pulling sideways and I'm turning the wire around. Then you just cut the end. Then we are going to attach the leaf to a flower. We place it a little bit below. You activate the glue of the floral tape and then you are going to press hard at the beginning so it will attach very well and then once you have it attached well you're going to continue pulling until you finish <laughs> 